All right, y'all. So it looks like the plot thickens a little bit. So it looks like we had someone speaking on Brett being deceptive and lying and manipulating actually on the 18th. So this was before the, the big crash today. Let me know in the comment section, do you believe the Brett FUD that's going on right now? Um, is it legitimate? Do we have legitimate proof that 81% of the supply is held by insiders? Um, and if we do have this proof, what does that mean? Are you still holding? Are you still a fan? Are you going to be looking for other projects? Are you sticking with base? Are you going somewhere else? If you do stick with base, listen, your boy is invested in Chuck. Make sure y'all check it out. Just saying. But yeah, like, let me know. Let me know how you all feel. But he's going to actually dive into some of the things that he sees as skeptical. So let, let's, let's see what he has to say. Let me know what you all think as well in the comments. Okay, this one is pretty massive if you think about it. I know some brain dead people out there. They're, they're not going to understand the severity of a project posting a fucking scam on their page, endorsing it. The video has Brett with FOMO, and they say, oh, we just endorsed it because we're, like, they, they called out Brett. You know how many other projects have mentioned Brett? Yet you didn't touch any of them. But somehow, a lot of the people who promoted Brett also promoted this pre-sale, including the Brett Twitter account, which is run by Crash and his friends. Don't listen to anything he says. There's no Brett Twitter owner. Go to the first several spaces. There's no Brett owner. It's Crash and his friends talking on behalf of Brett. So anyways, listen to this. The whole space is positive and they're sucking each other off. And then one guy comes with a normal complaint. And they act like it's no problem. They act like it's not their jurisdiction. Like they're not responsible for anything posted on the project that they're supporting so hard. And if you want some context for this FOMO project, here's what happened. The pre-sailers couldn't get their tokens. They're, they're up money. $15 million raised. Big red flag again, of course. Comes out of fucking nowhere. Raises all this money because Brett and all the cabal start fucking pushing it. And the pre-sailers couldn't even claim their tokens despite the fact that they were in profits. They could claim their tokens when the fucking price had already nuked to the floor. Go take a look at the FOMO project, please. That's crazy. That's crazy if that's true. This is this is insane if it's true. Um, I did see some stuff in the comments where people were saying stuff like, oh, you know there's risk in any investment and stuff like that. But, I mean, it is kind of shady if they're literally stopping people from exiting until there's no way that they can exit that's that's very shady so let me know let me know what you all feel about that also they had 30 percent tax all the way up that they didn't disclose fucking ran away with all that money just an absolute scam and then this is how they fucking talk about it just listen to the listen to crash and how he unfolds here how he starts getting emotional and says he doesn't care not his responsibility oh yeah bullshit and then i fucking post about it i show that the brett uh, account was supporting this FOMO project and they delete the post today now like come on guys you can't be this dumb yo yo how you doing I like doing good uh yeah I just had a quick question about the relationship with um Brett and FOMO I have no idea brother you know me I don't like pre-sales so I saw I saw there's a coin called FOMO I don't know what it is you know me I'm not putting my money in none of that shit so it's a shit coin, bro. But w w what was like? You don't have any insight on the on the tweet that the Brett account made. No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Great answers. Nice, quiet does pauses it, too. Does it really matter? Or like? No, I mean you just. I mean I know I know how you feel about pre sales, and I'm just wondering why. Um, yeah, you know how I feel, so. So I'm going to tell you my personal experience. I bought into FOMO at 30 million market cap and right now it's at 15 million market cap and I'm down 50% my bag. And I don't really think it's going to go up anymore. Right. Hey, uh, that's, that's, that's that's what what I'm asking why why there is a partnership between FOMO and Brett. How do you know that's a there's partnership? no partnership? It's, it's... Look at that. FOMO and Brett. How do you know that's a there's partnership? No part how do you know there's a partnership? 
Someone speaking as if he knows nothing. Someone says there there is no partnership. Someone speaking as if he knows everything. It sounds like there's some information that they know that's not public, and they don't sound too empathetic to this guy losing his his money and being in this position only because he chose to trust Brett. So that is kind of that's kind of crazy. I will say that that's kind of crazy. Partnerships. It was an acknowledgement. It seems like because they they made a video with Brett in it. Oh, so, so you're you just, just gonna go acknowledge blind, assume any it's a project or some shit. Right? You're it's just gonna acknowledge off, any project that does that. You jump into conclusions. Second, you're focused on, in my opinion, the wrong shit. Cause, like I always say, first off, like I'm not a fan of pre-sales. Second. Winners stay winning. Right? Well, I don't even so... know what that means. That's disgusting. That's <laughs> just said out of nowhere. Winners stay winning. The ego is insane, bro. I definitely wouldn't put it past them to do something like, like do some sketchy stuff. Like saying stuff like that, you're not showing any empathy to somebody who just got caught in a tough situation. Like, if you genuinely, like, if you was really winning, like you say you was gonna win, like. What you would do, what what a real man would do is you would hit him up, like like hit me up, let me know what's going on, hear his story, hear him out, and you would try to make that right, like get him in on even even if you don't pay him outright, get him in on the opportunity you may know about, be like, I right, this is a play that I'm in or something like that, like bro, you try to make that situation right, you be empathetic, you don't sit here and well winners stay winning, like if you lost, that's on you, like that's. This whole vibe and energy, I'm not messing with the whole vibe and energy, to be honest with you. I don't like the vibe and energy. It gives me you-can't-be-trusted vibes. Like I always say, first off, like I'm not a fan of pre-sales. Second, winners stay winning. Right? I don't even so, know what that means. That's disgusting. I don't give a shit about other stuff, man. Like, If it's not quality, if I don't give a shit about it, I don't give a shit about it. I'm not going to waste my time talking about uh, you know, stuff, unless I'm, like, warning people that, hey, I don't think it's going to do good. Like, like I told people I didn't think Roost was going to do well. Okay, so if he didn't think it was going to do good, and it was posted on the project that he's pushed harder than any project out there, why didn't he warn people? Why didn't he go to the Brett team, which is basically him, but why didn't he go to them and say, um, guys, why are we fucking supporting a pre-sale? You know I don't like pre-sales. This is going to look bad on Brett. Why Why didn't he do that? Very questionable. Well, people right, said exactly, I was but don't you think it's the equivalent well. of Brett tweeting Roos a little bit? I don't know, bro. I don't... It's not my this job. This is the first time he hasn't known a lot. I, I ate into... He is saying a lot of I don't knows. He's definitely saying that. FOMO, a father of memes, because Brett did repost him. That's a Oh, now we have someone admitting he actually bought because of... And this is like a Brett dick-sucking panel here. All they've done is talk up Brett. And now this guy's actually admitting he bought because of the Brett account. So there's your proof of concept right there about why it's such a bad idea for a project that people trust and like to be promoting other projects. I've told you guys for months now that's the downfall of pork that's the downfall of so many of these projects is when they start promoting other projects as a desperation move the only reason i actually put some money in i didn't put a lot of money in by the way i put like 350 dollars at 30 million and right now it's like at 15 million so i don't really care about it but i did fomo into fomo because brett reposted it that's all i'll say yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. Is that it's? I think it's a little bit concerning that the project. Okay, Arden, did you... first off, my man, is you shouldn't be fomoing into anything. That's a big mistake. You shouldn't be following anybody so closely where them cosigning something gets you to pull money out of your pocket and make a move, because you're the only one who cares about you. You're the only one who cares about you. So. Don't sit out here and give other people power over your finances as if they're going to take a L with you. No, you have to do your own research. You have to go on your own conviction. So it's not their fault that they that you got hit by this. It's your fault, but they still are setting up people like yourself to be scammed. Like if if this is true, if these allegations are true, they're setting up people like yourselves to fall for scams and to to 
line their own pockets and stuff like that, which is messed up. You lose money on FOMO. Is that why you're sending her something? No, no, not at all. But I, and okay. I'm up on So he said you lose money on FOMO. Is that why you're up here salty right now? Look at how they're talking. Look at how they're talking to him. Like, this is somebody that's supporting the same thing you support, and you're talking down on them and trashing them. Realistically, probably after you are behind what happened to him. Because me, regardless of if I'm affiliated with a project or not, if I hear somebody's going through something, I'm going to be like, man, I hate that happened to you. Like, that's crazy. Like, I hope you recover from that. Like, something positive, inspirational. Like, stay strong. We all got to pay our tuition when we learn in this space. Like, that, that would be my response. I can't imagine what type of person responds in this way. And that's what I'm saying. If I know how I would respond and I hear how they're responding... I have to assume that they're the opposite of me, meaning that they, <laughs> I, I wouldn't trust them personally. It's crazy. Lose money on FOMO. Is that why you're sending her something? No, no, not at all. But I, and okay. I'm up on Well, Brad, guess what? I didn't buy FOMO and I wouldn't but, touch okay. that shit with a 10 foot pole. Right? I didn't, I, I don't. Oh, so Crash has no responsibility for FOMO because he didn't buy it and endorse it. Yet, a lot of Cabal members that he's closely associated with, that also called Brett, all of them promoted it. Fucking the Brett Twitter account reposted it. But he doesn't get any fucking backlash because he didn't fucking tell you to buy it. Is that how it works now? Very interesting. That's such a fucking cop-out. Oh yeah, the project I tell you guys to buy every single day reposted this, but I personally didn't. So I can't be held accountable. I knew it was shit, but I didn't warn anybody. I didn't warn the bread account to take it off. Yeah, bull fucking shit, brother. I don't give a shit if Brett posted that or what. I don't give a fuck who posts that, man. Alex Becker could post it. Grant Cardone, Donald Trump could post it. I don't give a flying fuck because I have my own goddamn opinion on the market. And I'm going to do what I think is right. I'm going to do what I think is legit. I don't give a fuck about what anyone else does, bro. So instead of worrying about others, like, why don't we just focus on ourselves? Like, I don't pay no damn attention to what other people are doing or enough to even discuss what other people are doing that much, you know? No, I realize that, but like, that's, that's the, that's the that's project crash. account that's still... for the coin that you're invested in. That's not like... It's... Yeah, so for me, Crash, like, I did invest a little bit of money that I could afford to lose because Brett did uh, talk about it. And I, I did invest a little bit, and um, it's not doing good. But, yeah, you're right, Crash. It, it's honestly shit. It's a fucking pre-sale. I never invest in pre-sales, by the way. Yeah, so. Your point, so someone though, who about... never invests in pre-sales just did that because of the Brett account. But, yeah, there's there's no responsibility for us, and Brett is still 100% legit. I mean, he has to take responsibility for what he did himself. Like, people just should not be out here just throwing money around just because you trust some random account. These guys are not your friends. It don't matter how much, like, unless you all are part of a circle, you're part of his inner network and things like that. Y'all are not friends. Like, he has no responsibility to make sure you're looked out for. Only he's His only responsibility is to the people that's really, really close to him. So don't get tied up into any influencer, man. Any influencer. Like, me personally. Like, I know a lot of information, a lot of stuff that I personally only share on Patreon. Like, I, I share I share the stuff that I have mentors. I have people worth a lot of money, like millions and billions of dollars, bro. So why would I just give away everything that I know about everything here on YouTube? It's like my friends know certain things that I know. And then I started the Patreon to have a network of people where, yo, you want... The game that I'm I'm hip to, you want earlier information, you want earlier stuff that maybe I hear and I don't got time to post a video on YouTube right now. So I, I'll get to the YouTube video a few days from now, but y'all can know ASAP as soon as I find out. Boom, that's 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 what that is. So in that sense, I'm looking out for me and my people <laughs> like, oh, you joined this. You paying to be close to me, bro. You one of my people now. That's what it is. So. You can't look to these random influencers to just have your back, bro. Like, everyone's out here doing what's best for their family. Now, if they're scamming and stuff like that, that's some other shit, bro. Like, that, that's, that's messed up.
but just like even even if it was an honest mistake which to me it don't sound like that but i don't know these people or none of that like this ain't i, I wouldn't know it don't sound like it's just an honest mistake but even if it was an honest mistake th this is why you just don't take people's word and just randomly trust people you have to do your own research and your own due diligence always because if you take that l you're going to be the only one taking that l only one that matters to you anyway And you know everything's cool, right, guys? Yeah. Like Alex Becker tweeting about it is is a bit of a weird comparison because it's the the project account for the coin we all like and enjoy. I'm telling you that I don't give a shit who in the world posts about what, man. I'm here focused on my own account. I'm focused on what I'm gonna tweet and what I'm gonna buy. Facts, bro. No, that's fair. You don't see me. That's I, fair. All right, I, so. I mean, it was a massive scam. They're going to use that money to pump God knows what, whether they throw it in Andy on ETH or they throw it in Brett. It's just a way to funnel their operations that keep on going. Crash isn't rich. His $4 million, all these things he shows you, they're fucking fake. He can't sell them. He can't get $4 million out of Brett until it's pumped to a certain price point. And he's been fucking selling all his other wallets the whole time. This is what people do. They act like they're super rich. They act like something super important, but really none of it is. They're just all fucking LARP. And now let's let's see this very confident community. I mean, we obviously caught him lying here. So what happened was he was going to bring me up on the stage and then he pretended there's some difficulties, of course. And he's done spaces a million times. There's proof of it. If you don't believe me, go look it up. He's hosted spaces a million times. He's been on them a million times. He knows... If he removes someone, that those people can't join again. I showed the screenshot showing that I'm unable to join the space again after he did what he did. But apart from that, look how fucking backwards these people are. He says, oh yeah, this guy's going to come up here and be rude and disrespectful. Look how the panel treats me before I've even gotten there. They just show their weakness and they show how fucking defensive they are. And I haven't even got up on stage yet. I was going to come up there calm as tits. And show Crash why he's wrong about so many things he preaches. And have a nice little debate. He would have fucking muted me two seconds in. Because he knows he can't handle me. But l just listen to how his community uh, reacts and responds. Just absolute morons. Follow you will make a lot of money. And I, I guarantee that. So this guy's literally yeah, saying. I guarantee anyone who follows you will make a lot of money. I mean Jesus Christ. And no one sees the problem here right. That is a wild promise, bro. <clears throat> That's an insanely wild promise to tell somebody. You guarantee that they're going to make a lot of money. I can't guarantee nobody they're going to make a lot of money. I'm just doing what I think is best for me, and I can't guarantee myself I'm going to make a lot of money. I 100% feel I'm going to. I think that I'm very good at what I do, but I can't give myself that guarantee. How is he so confident giving somebody else that type of guarantee? That's crazy. That all these people are saying, you need to follow this guy. You need to follow this guy. And then everyone follows this guy. And everyone throws their money at anything this guy talks about. Meanwhile, this guy's a scammer. This guy has zero track record of making great calls. I've offered a bet several times. Anyone want to pick like three to six months from Crash's page and my own page and you want to compare? I'll give you three to one odds. I'll bet you as much money as you want. And I guarantee you no one will take that bet because they know. He's got a shit track record. And now we have everyone in the space saying you got to buy anything this guy talks about. But anyways, let's let's see how they react to me coming on stage soon here. You bro. You know, it's so funny. Um well, I appreciate you guys all. So, we have I'll I'll bring him on on the stage. We have a hater here. I could just see him. He's spamming laughing emojis, thumbs down emojis. So, if he's going to come on the space, he's going like, to yell and be disrespectful. I'll just remove him, right? But like Obviously, you can see all you guys are very positive and all you guys, like, you know, are, are, are supportive. These are called Crypto Lounge. What's up, bro? <laughs> wait, wait, I'll, I'll bring him on. If he's going to be rude and disrespectful, I'll remove him. Right? Let him, bring him on, bring him on. He's yeah, like, bring he's him on. Like he can teach Fuck him. him. Problem, Fuck you. Fuck you, Caesar Calls. You're just mad because you didn't get into Brett early, motherfucker. So, I'm going to be rude and disrespectful. Is there fear? I haven't even got there yet, and look at how much they're yelling and, like, saying fuck you and all just bullshit haters up there. And I'm going to be the one that starts the problems, though, right? 
That makes sense. <laughs> nah, nah. I mean, based off their vibe and energy, I mean, it does sound like they was the ones that would have brought the hostility. Like, look at the energy they're all sharing right now. It's a cult. Like, that's what it looks like to me, a cult. And I've been a part of one, like one of these little crypto cults. I've been a part, so I know what that looks like. I've been on both ends of it. Uh, we we don't we don't need to be rude. No. Let's. I mean, the guy. No, is, is... let him. No, he's rude himself, bro. Let him talk, bro. You could defend yourself, Crash. I know you can. This Bring is where Crash. On. This is where Crash starts to have uh, second guesses on this and starts bringing up technical difficulties because the guy says. You can defend yourself, Crash. I know, and then that's when he realizes, fuck. The last time I met Caesar on the mic, he he proved me wrong in ten seconds, and I had to leave David's space and fucking run away. So, that's when he starts second guessing this whole movement. He's like, shit, Caesar's actually probably about to roast me, so we can't bring him on. And then that's where the lies uh, continue to unfold. I know no, you tried, got what it I've takes. I tried to bring him on twice. Now, that's a lie. I'll tell you what the error says. It says he just finished bringing up like ten different speakers. And then after me, with the supposed error, he brought up more speakers right away. There's there's only one problem with the speaker he brought up that day, and it was me. Oh, now it says he can speak, uh, except now it still says requested. So it says there was an error adding this guy as a guest. Please try again. So maybe I'll oh, remove okay. him, then he can try again. But Yes, bro. Try, guys, if bro, this guy wants let's, to let's hit, hear this. Yeah. yeah and, Give and it here's to him. Let me, let me say something. All right. First off, I'm not even going to engage in, in pigs' conversation, right? Um, you know, some people, you cannot change their mind. Right? It doesn't matter what you say. They'll think what they're going to think. You're, there's nothing you can say that will change anyone's mind. Exactly. So I'm not going to have a pointless conversation, uh, you know, and just keep going and going and going on some stupid shit. Yeah, so he's, he's like, I mean, <clears throat> listen, let me know who sides y'all on when it comes down to this, what y'all think. Personally, the guy talking is definitely giving me energy as if he's full of shit, but I don't know the guy. Um, yeah, I have no, I don't, I don't know him at all. Um, so I, I couldn't say. I will say that the way that he's talking to people, the, his energy, it's not really fooling me. It's, it's not fooling me at all. I see how quickly you are to get disrespectful and talk down on people and stuff like that. That's someone's character. That shows me someone's character. Um, and hey, like I said, I'm not perfect. I used to be the same way when it comes down to disrespecting people and only looking out for me and things like that. I'm now I don't scam and stuff like that. Like that's crazy. That's that's having no no type of morals or no honor code and things like that. That's not yeah. I ain't never had them type of issues, but like he's an asshole. And yeah, I mean, and he seems like he doesn't care. Like he sets out to be one and doesn't care what anyone thinks about him being one. Like, at least when I was an asshole, I was looking out for people's best interests. And if you oppose me, it's like, who cares what you got to say? I know that I'm right. And all I'm doing is looking out for people. With him, it's like he's looking out for nobody but himself. Like, I've never been that type of guy where it's like I'm looking out for nobody but myself. It's like I'm looking out to win, but I don't see no reason that you can't bring up others with you. Like, I feel like that's what makes great leaders, not what you can just do for yourself or what you can do for everyone around you. But anyway, there we have it, man. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.